So now I'm going to explain what we have done today in terms of the ablation and EP uh, lab procedure. So there are three portions of this procedure. The first one is using the fluoroscopy. So when you look at the fluoroscopy, the X-ray machine is able to give us the position of each catheter. But what is unique about our um, procedure is that we are also using electroanatomical mapping, which is the 3D mapping system, as well as the conventional mapping. So we are able to locate the actual spot, this one here in red, that causes the electricity to come, the abnormal electrical focus. We're able to identify very precisely within two or three millimeters and apply a very low energy heat in order to remove those abnormal cells. So what's very important to realize is there's a big team of people who are responsible for doing the procedure. The physician is here in the control room. We have three professionals, including a technician and two nurses. And also we have the nurse here in the room helping the physician. Uh, with the conscious sedation. We do the procedure under what's called conscious sedation. The patient is not under general anesthesia. They can talk and respond to us, but they have no pain and they're not really aware of what's happening inside. The second important point is this is a hybrid room. This is a unique technology where you can do operative procedures as well as catheter procedures, both at the same time in the same room. So you don't have to move the patient around from one place to the other. And it's completely sterile, as you see, as a normal operating room environment. But we also have this 3D mapping system. So the 3D mapping system is so accurate, we're actually able to see the catheter location within two or three millimeters. We don't actually have to use X-ray. This is a new technique that's called zero fluoroscopy, and it's quite special in EP labs, where the physician does not have to wear lead, the patients don't have to wear lead, there's no radiation exposure, and we are simply utilizing the electrical signal to guide the exact catheter. And in fact, it is not only less fluoroscopy, it is in fact more accurate and has become something of a standard of care in EP studies and ablation. With that, we can confidently tell patients that there's a 99% chance of cure. In other words, removing the electrical signal completely and preventing the recurrence of the tachycardia, which is the most important thing for the patient. Of course, the patient does not want to have to come back to the emergency room. They don't want to take medication for the rest of their life. And I think when we do that, we can assure the patient that we have found the abnormal spot that they are born with, we have eliminated it, and there is no likelihood of them coming back. At the end of the day, when we do the mapping, we also do what's called retesting. We try to re-stimulate the tachycardia, and if it's gone, then we can be assured that it's not going to come back when they go home. After this procedure, because the patient is basically under some mild sedation, when it wears off, we take them to the recovery room, they go upstairs to the floor, and they can either be discharged the same day for simple ablations or the next day if the need arises. So it's a very simple, very safe procedure with a lot of benefit, but it requires a lot of technology and a lot of trained staff in order for us to do it. And I think this is one of the important things that technology has given us, the ability to treat what were you previously considered difficult procedures with great degree of success and great degree of safety and almost on an outpatient basis. And with that, I thank you very much and I hope to give you another session, hopefully on another kind of ablation or another type of cardiovascular disease.